is when we look at the economics of manure application and, and drag lining manure in, there's a, there's a break point depending on nutrient content. If there's not enough nutrient content there, at some point it's going to cost more to apply that manure than the nutrient value of the manure. So our preference would be to apply manures that have high levels of nutrient content from just the economic standpoint of delivery. We really don't want to pump a lot of dirty water. One of the challenges we've had is, especially in lagoon systems, is how do we keep that nutrient entrained in suspension and want it to be homogeneous throughout the pump out. With a typical pumping agitator that we bring over the bank, we can keep a rather small area in suspension, maybe a, a zone of influence of some 75 feet. And then we'll see as we drain that lagoon, solids will mound around the agitator and beyond that zone of influence of the agitator, we're not able to keep those solids in suspension. With the PC boat agitator, we can keep a lagoon in suspension, we can keep that nutrient up, and that means we can deliver it to the field. This is important for two reasons. One, we can deliver more uniformly. We'd like for that nutrient content to be the same at the beginning of a pump out and the end of a pump out. And because the solids and manure settle so rapidly, it takes very aggressive agitation to keep those solids in suspension. The second benefit of very good agitation is now we're delivering that nutrient uniformly. That means we also have more nutrient in that liquid. With a typical system of the past, when we, we pump what we can and those solids settle to the bottom when we start moving water that has very low nutrient content. And that's not of an economic benefit and we're not getting that nutrient to the crop.